Well, we're going to see if we can get away with a little Kiss background music if it's low enough. Uh, anyway, I thought I'd try something different. I don't normally show a lot of my stuff. Sometimes I don't make videos of all my things I find because the better stuff gets put on so fast. So I thought I would uh, show a few things I just recently got. I started filming with my uh, phone, but unfortunately I hate using it. <laughs> I like found my way to go to Goodwill uh, yesterday, but I uh, I don't know if it'll ever be used. So so anyway, here's some of the stuff I recently picked up either in town or down yesterday at Goodwill and uh, wherever else I went. Um, so I got a uh, Monster High doll. I don't know. It seems like it's worth 20 bucks. So I put that on. That was a uh, I got that today. I didn't think it was worth much. But, uh, and then I got couple mugs I picked up at Goodwill, Cedar Point, and this Zippo, which I listed on Facebook for $20, but we'll see, I already got a watcher within the last, uh, how long has it been on, uh, March, or, yeah, March 19th, uh, it has been on for a couple hours, so anyway, so that's pretty good, um, uh, I got these trading cards, I went down and I, uh, got a, uh, a here, hold on, let's see if I can get it, uh, this, poker set that you can't really see, uh, that was, um, here I got an idea, I'll have to edit some of this out I guess, uh, can you see, <laughs> I guess I don't work either, anyway, uh, they had some chips in it, and I was looking at the chips, they had three ninety nine on it, and they had the top taped across, uh, but, uh, the chips were unused, and I thought they had cellophane over the top of the box, and then the tape was just helping to help hold it in. Well, then I happened to look down at the two decks of cards that were in it, and they were these caps. I could see the ears sticking up, so I spent the $3.99, but when I got home, unfortunately, the uh, tape was actually over the top of everything, and these were in old cellophane, new old stock. Look how beautiful those are, and the plastic on that one gets basically destroyed. It is this old cellophane, and the other one's kind of bra fragile, but the cards are unused, and uh, they have their steels are from 1939. So I think I got two watchers already on them. So I almost don't want to sell them. They're so cool. Anyway, so there's those. We got a couple box sets. I found this. This is some show they film around here. Nobody asked me to be in it, of course. Film royalty <laughs> from the late 70s. Uh, anyway, uh, it's all signed. It says it was a limited edition. The discs are uh, on there. So I listed that for like 25 bucks. I actually started at 50 and then I said, ah, I don't know, nobody's going to want for that kind of money. So. I also found this down at Goodwill on the rack. I hate paying three dollars for a DVD, so it's very rare unless it's for me that I find anything that's worth it. But this is all signed. Probably at a convention, I'm assuming. But I don't know. Put 25 bucks on it. Krampus too. I can't read all the signatures. I think a few on the back too. So anyway, uh, and then we got. I found this, which I guess is scarce. Not scarce enough, but 20 bucks scarce for. Uh, PCU and uh, Airheads. Watched both of them last night. Still pretty deep movies. Steve Buscemi makes Airheads. It wasn't for him, it pale in comparison. I know there's other great people in it, but the material, eh, I don't know. Anyway, I guess that's uh, all my newer listings. Nothing. Well, I did pick up the Ghostbusters car. I put. I decided, oh, no, ah, that's not supposed to be $24.99. Oh, my gosh. Ha! I think I just messed that up, because that seems like, oh, no wonder nobody's buying that. They were supposed to be $9.99, so well, I'm going to fix that. I better... Huh, nice. I got the Ghostbusters car. That was uh, not so wonderful looking. I'm hoping I can still get it. I decided to put an offer, make offer on it. I started at $90. It's like, I mean, not started, but that's what it's for. Still got this weird odd pod that I got at the estate sale two weeks ago. A week? Yeah, two weeks ago. And got a watcher, I think, on it originally. I listed it twice for about $50 starting bid, no action. So I listed it for $100. Uh, hmm, I guess that's about it. A few shirts I picked up on the way to the auction, a vase. 
little uh, Egyptian guy I had laying around for a while. A couple of Hitchcock books that I got the last. So I got that uh, book holder at that last sale too. Got a couple more H tracks. All right. Anyway, uh, let's go to some completed stuff. Some solds. All right. Sold. I sold three little Wheaton bottles I got at the uh, show. Uh, at the show. Uh, at the state sale. I sold this hat. I think I bought it at Goodwill for a buck. It's uh, the Salmon salmon 30 Salmon with an airplane. Ha! With a jet with a fish face. But it was for Alaskan Airlines and somebody in Anchorage just bought it. It went out today. Got this little bottle at the estate auction. That's uh, sold for 20 with free shipping. But, or actually, I think I sent an offer of 18 on it. So and I paid the shipping. Another God of Oil shirt. They're not worth much. It pays for my time. You know, gives me something. Finally sold this Tiki, Tiki guy on a motorcycle. I can't remember on a cart. And I can't remember what I paid now. I think I went higher and then realized I shouldn't go that high. But I don't know. Maybe I only paid five. But I took an offer. I think 18. I think that's what I took for it. I sold my lot of Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, and I had to I tested every one of them. I sold my monkey's ring that I spent ten bucks on at that last estate sale. Um, I really should have checked the sound on this before I kept filming, but I guess it is what it is, as they say. Anyway, uh, pretty cool. I'd seen they were selling for thirty bucks. I got twenty-eight. That's kind of an offer sold this cat to a nice lady. She had some problems down in Louisiana, I guess. Lost a lot of her stuff. I took her off from my Bombay cat uh, for 15 Sold my old shoe shine kit finally. I've had that on for a while. <laughs> but, uh, pretty cool. I think I don't know what I took for that. 15 I don't know. Uh, picked up a couple games. I was waiting for my friend to get off work the one day and I normally I would have sat and probably played lottery tickets. Instead I went back to the thrift store and looked at, found a couple games I'd kind of ignored and uh, they were worth enough. You know, I paid the shipping but hey, pretty good compared to losing it on a ticket. Sold my five miscellaneous eight tracks for 25 bucks. Finally sold that cat latch uh, latch hook kit. It's been on for, I don't know, at least a year? Maybe more? And I have, what, I had like a, I think 14 watchers, and I sent multiple ones, I had sent offers, and nobody bit on it. But now finally I got, I think I took 15 just to get rid of it, uh, to get moved on anyway. I need some space, and turn around long enough. Somebody should have acted on it sooner. Hope they'll be disappointed it's gone. Aww. <laughs> Anyway, I sold my three Blue Oyster Cold A tracks. I took an offer. I can't remember if I took 25 or 28. I don't know. I think I sent the offer. Sold Def Leppard. Uh, I just picked up an eight track deck at the auction, which I forgot to show because I left it in the van on the last video when I got the Ghostbusters. Uh, anyway, it's uh, on there. Sold my ACDCs. Um, finally sold the Rolodex. I bought a Coxes for $2 last year. And it's gone now. Got full price plus shipping. Finally sold a little rabbit thing. I sold my uh, Barbie Hasselhoff doll. <laughs> I paid two dollars for this little Scotty dog box at Cox's, and it also said it, I, it was because I think they bought it because it's got a SS Grandview Point PA thing on the front of it, plus it's Scotty dog. So got twenty dollars and they paid the shipping so and it sold quite fast like a couple a few days I think. Uh, my last of my quarter square dance shirts finally got bid five bids and sold and it's gone. I asked her I bought it the last say it sell for two dollars. I sold that for twenty. It's for it's something in California but it's about Pizza Garden. Sold my Batman uh, color forms. I sold the Wizard uh, Quest thing for full price, 25 plus ship, and I sold the two uh, books from the, the state sale two sales ago that I did alright on already. I did really good. The newest, the latest uh, sale, I don't, I'm pretty sure I, I had a hundred and some bucks. Yeah, I with Bill buying the Star Wars off me and giving me a profit on them, he knew I paid, so I feel happy that he paid me what he did. And, uh, 
I appreciate it. But that was his help. I, I think I, and I sold a couple things, so I'd already spent, got my money basically back. So, uh, so all this other stuff is basically profit. Uh, now the creamer, that's one of the things I sold for a hotel from the 50s. Got $20. I think I paid the shipping maybe? I don't know. I had that bill shirt, or bull shirt, was uh, like half price, and I was disappointed because it wasn't really a player of 60, or what number, eight, eight, 66, I guess it must be just the, I don't know, I think I already brought this up with the last video. <laughs> anyway, I sold my Pink Floyd animals, I should have kept it, I'm going to start hoarding everything that's related to uh, Pink Floyd that I come across. But anyway, that's going to be it, I guess, until next time, so that... Volkswagen. Seems like I've already done this, but maybe I did do it on the last video? Huh. Alright, anyway. Oops, I sold something. What do you think it is? Let's find out. I will check. Hold on. Oh, i got to remember to change these. Back to what they're supposed to be. <laughs> can't believe I put five bucks. Nobody yet on that, unless they just bought it. Okay, where are we at here? Alright, orders waiting to go. Oh, I sold airheads! Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. Nice. I priced it just about where I thought it was well worth it. It sells 25 and higher, actually. But. Anyway, so that was pretty cool. And that was a good note to end on. So, until next time, I'm not even weird fooling around. Unless I do something weird with my boys. <laughs> Bye bye, thanks for watching. What do you say, Popeye? I say buy something off this dumb guy. Look at his auctions and support me and this dumb guy's channel.